Hey, what's up YouTube? All right, thanks for joining me for another video. So today's video is going to be about the W220 S-Class Mercedes, the M113s, and also the M112s uh, crankshaft positioning sensors. Based off the same kind of engine design kind of thing, just uh, two more cylinders. And it's the crankshaft positioning sensor that we're going to be replacing uh, today. So the first thing when you uh, have these sensors that start failing, number one is that the engine will randomly cut off uh, at a stoplight uh, while it's parked, you know, stuff like that. It will just randomly cut off. But what you're going to do next is break out your uh, OBD2 scanner, hook it up underneath of the dash and read this. Right, just turn the key to the on position then let the uh, car do some reading. Now I have two fault codes that are already stored in here that I'm trying to figure out. Uh, this is going to be a mess, but moving on to the next ones, uh, that's the one right there. So I had to quickly look this one up. Hey, what's up guys? Okay, so here's the part, hopefully my uh, cloth doesn't distract you guys. I'll cover that up. Um, so here's the... Uh, <laughs> Uh, the part, only get the one from Bosch, please. Whatever you do, do not buy some off-brand China stuff. Uh, just go and get one of these. Here is the uh, part numbers for that. All right, so when we're doing this, you have to remember that the crankshaft positioning sensor this is at the front of the car. It is on this side. And when you follow it through, if you can see where my light is, it's up inside of this area here. So I'm gonna try my best. Uh, the iPhone will focus on things that is closest to it instead of kind of further away. Um, but, let's see, I mean, here is the uh, wiring for that. And then I'll try my best to kind of go down in here. You have to do it with one hand. But if you can kind of see, me a second here there it is uh all the way down uh there so you kind of see where we're panning up and going out from the engine that's where we're going to do it so it's the e8 uh right there i'm gonna try to give it a shot and see if it fits down there or not i was hoping it would be a little bit larger of a bolt but you know Okay, let's just try to give it a shot. I may need something a little bit longer. Let me see what I have uh, placed in there. Um, if you can kind of see, sorry it's blurry, but it won't focus. I just want to focus on my finger. And I have it in there, so it's an E8, so I have an extension. And now, I'm just gonna take that extension and go ahead and all right, so I'm going to pull that bolt out of there. So here's a little teeny E8. All I to do is just bring that little thing out. Ow, that hurt. <laughs> so there's the hole for it. <clears throat> and, um, here is the old sensor. All right, so as you can see, the hole is right there, down in the middle, that's blurry. Um, so then, remember it goes this way. The bolt uh, is away from you. And uh, I can't keep my hand there, but you kind of know where at least I'm going uh, with that. Okay. All right, so where you see that at, hey, it's focusing a little bit. That screw is a little bit underneath there. And then you can just take your uh, long extension and try to get back up on that bolt, which I can't film and get up in that tight little corner, but at least you'll be able to see exactly what I'm talking about as I pan out. All right, so now you got it. Kind of down in there, which won't focus, but tighten your bolt back up. And take it off uh, with that. And then 
Uh, we have our, this is your connector that goes in there. And then we're just going to, uh, hold on one second. Take my gloves off because it's below freezing outside. All right, take our glove and it goes, uh, it clips on this way. So when you see it down in there, you're gonna have to take this and be gentle with it uh, and pull it up to get it off. So, um, all right, so if you can kind of see it right there. Um, all right, and then I'm just you know pushing that tab. Uh, back on there and it's officially clipped to it all right all right and before uh everything is all finished and you close the hood up go back to your uh codes again through your reader mine will have two codes on here that i've been struggling with and uh hopefully i'll get those fixed soon but the main thing is just to get rid of the p0 uh 335 all right so those are just going to be there with mine because I have a leak somewhere. I don't freaking know. And that is the one that I want to get rid of. All right. <clears throat> okay. So that's the sensor installed. I do apologize that it's kind of blurry. The, um, the iPhone triple cameras will not focus correctly. But you kind of get the logist of where the sensor is. It's not a very hard job to do. Maybe 15 minutes. But just make sure when you do that, put a rag or something down uh, there so you don't drop the bolt. Um, you're going to have to come at it from a side and then use your hand to kind of get down in there like I was trying to uh, show you. And uh, it's a pretty easy job. I would say maybe 10 minutes, nothing um, too serious. And uh, just remember the signs for that is usually some hesitation in the car. And then when the uh, sensor is about to fail completely, uh, it will just randomly stop uh, the vehicle's engine anywhere, any place, any time. And then it's really hard to uh, restart the vehicle too. So that's when you know it's definitely time to get that. But the ultimate thing to let you know is take out your scanner, hook it up underneath of the uh, dash compartment on the driver's side like I was showing you and scan for the codes. If P0335 comes up, that's your signal to go ahead and replace that. Don't waste money on these cars because you will spend thousands trying to fix problems and you have not fixed the correct item. So just wait for the computer to do all of your information. It may take a while. Um, I scanned it once before and it didn't pop up with anything. So like two or three times the sensor fails and it's like, boom, there's the code. All right. So hopefully that helped you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye.